All right, let's take a look now at problem 11, which is our first problem uh, in which we'll use a cubic equation of state. So the solution will be similar. It's just now we're going to use a cubic equation of state um, rather than uh, Lee Kessler tables or truncated virial. Um, I have MATLAB open and the code that I've provided uh, on our Canvas site, which I'll also uh, upload here, um, which I have it so that I can actually demonstrate using it uh, for the problem. Okay, um, I guess just in general, remember when we use a cubic equation of state, uh, the main mode in which we'll use it is just like um, Lee Kessler, in the inputs will be TC, PC, omega, temperature and pressure, out will come Z, which we can use in our equation of state uh, for real fluids to calculate V. Okay, but it's always a good idea to have, you know, kind of this black box in, in your mind um, so that you understand how to use it right and, and what you can do with it all right uh, and what will be important uh, even more so here uh, with cubic equation state is identifying what phase we have so that if we get more than one real root um, we know which one to choose and so basically what will happen is if we are near coexistence our equation of state is going to give us um, more than one real root and so we need to you know, know that the z closest to the largest z, the one closest to 1, will be our vapor phase. Our smallest z will be liquid phase. And if there's one in between, we toss it out. Um, now, if you're well removed from your critical point, or not well removed from your critical point, if you're well removed from saturation, um, you should only get one real root. Um, and so there, then, uh, this isn't so much of an, of an issue. Okay. Uh, but without further ado, uh, let's look at the specific problem. So 0.5 meter cube tank will be used to store CO2 at 20 degrees C. Using the SRK uh, equation state, answer the following. Determine the amount of CO2 that could be stored safely if the tank can withstand a maximum pressure of 70 bars. Then it looks like repeating at 60 and 50 bars. Okay, so let's um, walk through it. We'll at least solve the first one um, and, and discuss the other two so that you can, you can tackle them on your own. Okay, but all right, so what are we given? So um, so we have that V total is equal to 0 0.5 meters cubed. Uh, temperature is going to be equal to 20 degrees C. And then in, in all cases, um, pressure is going to be whatever P max we're looking at in that particular problem. Okay. One note is already here, temperature is in, in degree C. Um, remember, well, we'll you know, we'll take a look at the code. Um, when you calculate reduced coordinates, um, it's going to be important to um, use absolute quantities. Okay. Now, the first thing that, that goes off in my head is that, okay, we're given V total, and in each one of these problems, um, we're asked for, you know, what's the maximum amount um, that the tank can hold, right? And so it says in kilograms, uh, I'm going to think about moles, because then once I have it in moles, I can just get kilograms using molecular weight. Okay, but the general idea will be, okay, I know V, my molar volume, is just V total divided by M. Okay, now remember too, I'm thinking about molar volume because, you know, equations of state, right, we're dealing with um, molar volumes, right, moles are our physical quantity, okay, not mass. All right, so it's going to be V total over N, so that if I need to solve for N, um, N then is just V total, okay, over V. So the key that we're going to try and solve for is, is V. Okay, How do we get V? Well, V we'll calculate using our equation of state for real fluids. Okay, So remember, PV is equal to ZRT. So that V is going to be equal to ZRT over P. Okay, So we know T and we know P, so our focus is on calculating Z. Z, we're going to calculate using SR, SRK equation of state. So again, if I think about, you know, the, the black box, okay, N's going to go temperature and pressure along with parameters TC, PC, and omega. Okay, then out will come Z. Okay, that once I have Z, I can plug it into my equation of state for real fluids to get V. Once I have V, um, I can use that to calculate N, and then you know, just to take it a step further, since I want um, mass, um, N, or mass, would just be whoop, molecular weight, uh, my molecular weight, okay, 
um, times uh, number of moles. Right? Molecular weight will have units to say grams per mole multiplied by uh, moles, and, and you, you you get your mass. Okay. Um, do remember that SI the molecular weight given in the back of the book or the appendix uh, will be in Dalton's gram per moles. Uh, so if they want kilograms, you're going to have to divide by um, a thousand. Right? Just keep track of your units. All right. So having you know said all this, right? Our focus here um, will be to calculate Z. Um, because then once we have Z, right, I'll assume that you can, you know, go ahead and plug it into your equation of state uh, for real fluids, uh, get V, uh, and then go ahead and, and calculate N. Okay, so our main, or my main focus will be using the, the MATLAB code uh, provided. And actually the MATLAB code can give you a V2. All right, but before we jump at it, let's just, let's actually look at all of our problems and try and figure out what phase we have, right? Because again, they're going to be the, the same thing. So in A, okay, we're at 20 degrees C and 70 bars. So we're told that at 20 degrees C, PSAT, saturation pressure is 52.91, uh, 50, 57.291. So if we're at the same temperature, but our pressure is greater than PSAT, what phase do we have? So if I'm at the same temperature, but pressure is greater than PSAT, what phase do I have? All right, so if P is greater than PSAT, okay, at the same T, that means I'm gonna have a, what phase? Liquid phase. Okay, so if I get more than one uh, real Z, I'll choose the smallest. Okay, now if we repeat uh, at 60 bars, all right, now it's still P is greater than PSAT, okay, so I'll still have a liquid. So I would choose the smallest Z if I get more than uh, one real root. But now here I have uh, pressure 50 bars. Uh, so if my pressure is less than uh, PSAT, so now I have P is less than PSAT at the same T, so I must have a vapor. Okay, cool. So that's just gonna help me choose um, my roots. All right, so um, I'm going to flip down to the appendix. We're dealing with CO2 and um, over to the MATLAB code, okay? So let me, well, we don't even need to write a script here. So um, my temperature in, in degree C is, is 20. So uh, let me convert that to Kelvin. So my temperature in Kelvin would be my temperature in degree C plus 273.15, okay? My pressure in bars, that's gonna be my P max which in this problem is 70, okay? So now I've got temperature and pressure. I need to go to Appendix A. Appendix A is where I can find my critical properties for carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide here. And notice molecular weight is given here too um, to, to do the conversion. Uh, but TC is 304.12. Three hundred four point one two critical pressures seventy three point seven four seventy three point seven four omega is zero point two two five actually so if you were doing this for um, homework maybe put this in a script uh, that way you can submit your script. Um, with your homework problems, um, that could be very useful. And then the last thing I'll I'll put the molecular weight in there, forty four point zero one. All right, so now I'm going to open up my black box. All right, so we're going to use the SRK equation of state. So SRK equation of state again is going to have inputs of temperature, pressure, uh, and I have it listed as omega, TC, and PC. Um, and then in terms of units, uh, I should the units of temperature should be in in Kelvin. Yeah, temperature in Kelvin. Right. So, um, yeah. So I'm just going to uh, literally uh, copy this. Okay. And then note um, this will return Z um, V. Um, but then you could also get it to return Z uh, and V ideal gas if if you wished. Okay, so I'm just going to copy uh, the function signature, 
Okay, first argument that will return is is v. Um, could be more than one. Uh, so let's make it a vector z, and then there's v ideal gas. So temperature in Kelvin, pressure in bars, omega, Tc in uh, Kelvin, and Pc in, in bars. Good. So if I run it, okay, I get a molar volume of 65.0961. Um, I just get one real root, 0 0.1870. Uh, that's definitely pretty small. It's definitely uh, highly non-ideal. Um, then we even get the ideal gas, okay? And in this problem, we were told the total volume, um, V total. So V total is 0 0.5 uh, meters cubed. Um, so we're going to get uh, volume in units of centimeters cubed per mole. Um, so do I want to convert uh, V total to centimeters cubed or my molar volume um, uh, to meters cubed per mole? Um, let's maybe do V total. So if I want V total in centimeters cubed, so cubic centimeters, so uh, one centimeter or one, 100 centimeters are equal to one meter. So it should be V total uh, times uh, 100 cubed. Okay, so that should be my total volume in cubic centimeters. So then if I want um, N, like we said, N, N is going to be V total in cc's divided by uh, V. Okay, so that's how many moles I have. Mass is going to be moles times molecular weight, and then divide by 1,000 to get to um, kilograms. So it looks like 338.0384 kilograms. All right, cool. Okay, so I have that. Um, and then for the other problems, it's just a matter of updating. So chances are for B, since you're getting close to saturation, there's a good chance that you may get more than one real root. Um, so if that's the case, you just need to choose the smallest one, which is liquid. Um, and then C, um, you know, if you get more than one real root, you just have to choose the largest one, um, which would give you a, a vapor phase. So larger, the largest molar volume or largest C. Okay. Um, but but that's it. Okay. Um, and again, I did everything from the command window. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm demonstrating bad practices. Uh, ideally, put it in a script. Um, that way, it makes it easier to update for B and C. And then you can just save your script and submit that with. Um, your homework solutions. Hope that helps.